about a month ago we purchased this Ego Fit Walker Pro and if you subscribe to my channel or if you are already subscribed you will be able to see initial review on this and today after a month and about five to seven hours a week we are going to do some little maintenance dust it off and maybe oil it for the first time even though they say like if you have five to seven hours we can do that every six months but uh, i'm gonna do it today just slightly make sure that uh, it's not dry and uh, belt is tight and nice there is some dust on the front where the motor is and the display and we need to dust it off away from any spots that they can uh, absorb the dust and i'm going to use some air pressurized air to get any to get any of this dust away here is the oil and the allen wrench that i need to use manufacturer recommends original oil to purchase from them or their uh, distributors in order to lubricate it we will need to put oil under the belt in between belt and board and uh, to do that i will have to loosen up both sides left and right uh, these screws adjustable screws to loosen up the belt all the way so i will do on both sides same amount three revolutions and go from right to left counterclockwise one two and three and then i'll go on the other side right side and do the same one two and three Okay, after three revolution it is loosen up but i will probably need to do twice more so i'll go again three and three and three and three and stop and see where i am So now I have uh, nine revolutions and the belt is pretty loose and I can go on this side and right side with the oil under the belt and oil it on the board. Before we apply oil, I'm just going to use a dry, not wet uh, paper towel and then clean it under just to get any dust out because we don't need to have anything under the belt in between belt and the board. I'll do that on both sides. I forgot to mention that it is uh, preferable to unplug it completely out of the outlet when we do this procedure for our safety. So in order to apply oil, I'll just demonstrate above the belt that we will need to go in a streak like this, maybe one more time down here, or just to go in a zigzag so it will get under the belt in, in, the, in between board. It will be hard to record it, so I'm just going to demonstrate that here, like that, with a little line, and go under, squeeze this, and do it. If it's uh, preferable, we can also lift it up on the side, and go with a streak of oil here, from the top to bottom, and oil will go down by itself. This is much easier than... Um, original way that I say, I'll wait for oil to slide down a little bit and go from the other side too. See all this oil is now down in, in between belt and it will slide down. I'm just going to wait for maybe five minutes till it goes down and go on the other side. Now we can do other side and the same as on the previous side, we can wait for the one streak to go down all the way or all the way to the middle to meet the other streak and it will cover all belt when it rotates 
you'll oil the uh, rollers and the belt and the board. Now that we oiled everything, I'm gonna tighten the belt again with uh, sets of three revolutions like this one, two, and three on the left and right side simultaneously. I will do nine of them in order to get back on the original tightness. Now I need to turn it on on uh, three kilometers per hour and uh, let the belt lubricate itself. Here is three kilometers per hour. Let it run for a couple of minutes and uh, disperse the oil and at the same time to check the belt distance from left side and right side to see are we okay. It looks like we are but after a couple of minutes I will see are we okay. And one test that I learned in the uh, manual is to verify that our belt is not too loose I will need to step on the belt with my foot and try to stop it and if I can that means that belt is loose so I'm just gonna try to stop it like this and it it won't do that so I'm pretty sure that I didn't over tight because I repeated the same revolutions and uh, it won't stop when I step on it so that means that's okay with the speed three kilometers per hour and uh, over five minutes running, belt is still in the center and we tested already the tightness so it's good that's all that it takes to maintain and oil this uh, treadmill I hope this helps somebody and if you subscribe to my channel you will see the initial review and uh, also in a, one of the next times if I have an adjustment of the belt, I will show how we do that. Thank you for watching.